Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the first episode of Peachy Live. My name is Sarah Dietschy. Tonight's episode is all around design and creativity, and the dude that is going to be hosting it is Timmy Ham. He is an illustrator, a designer, an amazing entrepreneur who has taken his illustration and made a really awesome clothing company with it, and he just does all the things. So I really think you're going to enjoy his company and also learn a lot of stuff because he's going to take you kind of behind the scenes of how he designs things. The first time that I ever met Timmy was he reached out to me about a collaboration. I had this white chair and he was like, yo, let's let's paint it. Let's let's do something cool with it. Here, here it is. It's in my apartment. It used to be an all white chair. He took it, tagged it, and he did his art you know, a lot of his art on it. And God, isn't it? It's pretty dope. So that's a little perspective of kind of his style, but I'm so excited for him to show you guys all of the things. Peachy Live is kind of in the beginning stages. So these episodes are going to evolve. So make sure you're involved in the comments when it's live, but also if you're uh, watching this after the fact, after it's live, um, definitely give me some feedback in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I want I want Timmy to take this over and uh, start, you know, talking to you guys, start learning. I'm so excited about this, and yeah, take it away, Timmy. Okay, I think hopefully we're live right now. Fingers crossed, guys, and I just want to say sorry for the technical difficulties. This has been a learning curve for me, so I'm very sorry, but I'm super pumped to be here with the Peachy Live, Peachy Fam. You guys rock. Huge shout out to Sarah. Thank you so much for uh, having me on uh, this new platform that you're doing. It's super rad, and it's going to be super fun for you guys as the viewers to check everything out. There's all these awesome streamers uh, that are going to be on here, so... Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you're subscribed to Sarah right now because these streams are going to be epic. Um, so just to give you guys a little uh, intro onto who I am, uh, I'm, my name's Timmy Ham. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm an illustrator, mostly digital. Um, I also design. I do a lot of graffiti work, a lot of really crazy, cool, super awesome stuff. And basically, uh, the different types of work that I'm doing right now um, a lot of different murals. If you can see behind me, uh, this is a giant canvas that was actually spray painted. I use a lot of spray paint uh, in my like hand work, the, the work I do with my hand. Um, <laughs> and uh, I also design a lot of stuff for clothing. I have a clothing line called Sloth. I am Sloth. Um, you can check this out. Here's like one of the t-shirts so you can just get an idea. Um, I also do a lot of work with brands, uh, branded kind of content, but in the form of art, doing some different work with Red Bull and some top secret stuff with Pepsi I am not allowed to talk about, but um, just a lot of really fun creative stuff. I, I'm, I'm doing stuff all over the place, so it's super, super fun, and I'm just super pumped to be here, and I'm going to say super like 10 more times uh, throughout this stream because super is a rad word, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so I just want to kind of dive in and teach you on teach you guys on some of the tools I use, and then I want to get into showing you guys how I actually do some work. So I've got like a project that I'm going to work on. Um, I'm going to make a little wallpaper, and then we're going to put the download the download link in the description below, so you guys can download a wallpaper uh, for free, which is going to be super cool, and you guys are definitely going to want to check that out. But first, I want to tell you guys about the tools that I use. Um, so first and foremost, Adobe products rule. I use Adobe Photoshop like religiously. I use Adobe Illustrator just as much. And then also like probably one of the main tools, like if I didn't have this tool, I probably wouldn't be able to do any of my artwork on the computer. And that is my Wacom tablet right here. Um, it's black, it's kind of hard to see. Basically, this is a Intuos Pro. I have the paper edition. Paper edition is super rad because you can actually draw on paper and it translates your artwork into vector artwork into the computer, which if you do a lot of work, um, if you do a lot of artwork on uh, paper, it makes for an amazing tool. And also, just so happens that Wacom is sponsoring this stream. So huge shout out to you guys. Wacom, you make amazing products and I wouldn't be talking about it if I didn't believe in it. I literally use this thing 
every single day, all the time. I've been using it for like 10 years. So let's get into the art. I know you guys have been waiting for the stream for a while, so I wanna dive into some art right now. Um, I'm gonna be working in Adobe Illustrator and let me share this with you guys right now. So basically what we have here is, okay, I think we're good. Bear with me guys. <laughs> like I said, this is like, this is kind of new to me. So basically what I've been working on, as you guys can see right here is a pineapple. So I started it already just because I only, I don't want to bore you guys. I think if I do this for a couple hours, you guys are going to get like super boring. So um, I'm only going to take like 15 minutes, maybe 10, um, since you guys have been waiting for so long to see the stream. I'm just going to start to finish this pineapple, and then we're going to make it into a wallpaper. And so what you got here is, if you guys can see here, I'm going to turn off these layers right here. So I have a couple layers. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I brought this in. So basically, if you can see what's behind here, um, you see this layer right here. I'm going to bring the opacity up. Uh, check that out. So this is actually a drawing that I did uh, the other day, just on paper. And what I like to do is I like to draw everything by hand. I bring it into Illustrator just by taking a picture, and then I come I bring it into Illustrator and then I lock the layer as the bottom layer and then I just start drawing drawing over it. Um, my favorite tools to use are the brush tools, especially with the Wacom tablet because with the Wacom tablet it's pressure sensitive. So like, uh, let me show you an example. It's pretty amazing, but see how it gets thin to thick? Like, ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Anyways, okay. so. I'm gonna just start working on this right now and you guys can kind of see the process of how I do this uh, using a Wacom tablet and you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, why have I never used a Wacom tablet before? And it's because, I don't know why, but you should be using one. <laughs> um, so the tool that I use the most in Adobe Illustrator is this brush tool. Um, I use all sorts of different types of brushes, these are all default to Illustrator. Um, you can download all sorts of cool brushes too. I use the pen tool a lot. For this, I'm only gonna use the pen tool and the brush tool. And uh, I'll just kind of show you guys how I do it, basically. Sometimes, if I wanna thicken the lines, basically I'll just like select that. I think it needs to be a little bit thicker. There we go, all right. I don't trace it perfectly because as you can see the lines aren't like that perfect, but I mean it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's do some more. I seriously like love, 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 love using this pen. Oh, one other cool thing about this Wacom tablet, the new one. So I had the old one for like ever. For like ever and ever and ever. And Probably the one I had most recently was like, I don't know, like 10, 10 years old. <laughs> it was pretty old. And the new one, the new Wacom tablet. Oh, by the way, if I say Wacom, I'm really sorry. I used to say Wacom all the time, but it's actually pronounced Wacom. And uh, I've learned that this last month. So if I say that, I'm sorry. But anyway, so the new Wacom tablet the surface of the tablet is kind of rough. So as like an artist that loves to just draw on paper and doodle, when, you, when you're using the stylus pen on the Wacom tablet, the surface, it's like, it feels almost just like paper. It's pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. So the fact that they've made it so realistic is pretty epic. So. What I'm doing right now is I'm just basically drawing these. I don't know if you guys can see how well you can see the layer below, but I'm just kind of tracing these out. And this brush that I'm using is, it's the second, it's called Art Brush 3, and it makes this like thick, to th thin, thick, thin kind of line. I don't really know the technical term that you would call that, but that's the brush. After this, after probably the next, after 10 minutes of this, we're gonna jump into like a little Q&A. Um, 
and then you guys can ask me questions about Illustrator, any, any questions you have about Illustrator and all that stuff. So, um, so the reason why I, hold on a second, we need to change something really quick. All right, so one thing that I like to do with my designs is if you can't tell right now, I like to use like super thick outlines for the outside of the design and then inside the design is where I get more of the thinner lines. I think, I think when you do that, the design just pops like way more. And uh, as I do this, I think you guys will be able to kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, I think it's really important when you're designing something or illustrating something, I should say, that you use different strokes of, I don't know, well, actually, I don't know if you call it strokes or weight, but you don't want to use everything the same exact thickness. I've seen a lot of artists, they'll use like the same outlines in every single part of their project. And I think it's really cool and important to, to try to use different, um, different thicknesses of your lines. It'll totally make your art pop a lot more and uh, give it more character. And so that's kind of what I'm doing right now is I'm just using this brush tool to, oops, to outline all these different pieces. Also, one little pro tip, guys. I've got, yes, I have pro tips for you. <laughs> Not that many, but I do. My first pro tip of the night is learn the hotkeys in Illustrator. Uh, especially if you learn like the hotkeys. So see how like I just drew that line? Well, Command Z just undoes it, undoes it, and it's huge when you're when you're uh, in your workflow. Especially when you're using the pen tool like I'm do or not the pen tool, the brush tool like I'm using right now. It's really easy to make mistakes, especially when you're just learning how to use, uh, how to draw with a, like a, a tablet or a mouse, but the Command Z is like golden. It's a golden tool. So, all right, so now that I've got all those little lines, you can kind of see it coming together. Uh, oops, I forgot one. We need this one right here. It's kind of weird though, because it's kind of off. All right, that's good. Um, now I'm going to add my X's. So I add X's in pretty much all my designs. <clears throat> it's a two X's. Basically what my, the X's stand for is, um, I actually have it tattooed on me. <laughs> so I draw two X's. Usually they're si like side by side and connecting, but in this illustration, they're not going to be connecting. Basically, what two X's mean is it's an old Nor um, Viking symbol when they're connected. Um, and it means when, where there's a will, there's a way. And I just like really, really dig what that means. And so I just incorporate it in all my art um, wherever I can. And so sometimes people are always like, oh, that's a sloth. He's got the X's. He's got the X's in art. So it's kind of like sort of a signature thing, I guess you could say. Um, but... If you're wondering what the X's mean, that's what it is. It's an old Viking symbol. It means where there's a will, there's a way. And the Vikings used to actually etch, like carve it into the mast of ships that they overtook um, way back in the day. So when they would conquer a ship, they would, ek, they would etch two X's in the mast of the ships. And basically, that meant where there's a will, there's a way. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, all right, so now I'm going to fill in the like... So these little parts of the pineapple uh, start to give it a little bit more popping effect depth and then we'll do the then we'll hurry up and do this the leaf part and hopefully we have enough time to get done with the color if we don't I will finish it really quick so we can put it in the description below for you guys to download <laughs> um, and I'm super pumped if you guys have any questions um, I wish I could have music hopefully next time we can have music in this too so um, you don't have to listen to me talk 24-7 about what I'm doing because you guys might just think it's like therapeutic just to watch someone do art too. So that would be really cool. And we should definitely take music. We should definitely take music requests for the next stream. 
Um, so what I'm using right now in this design uh, to do the to do fill in these parts is the pin tool, and it's right over here. Uh, shortcut on in Illustrator is just P. You can just hit P to pin tool. Um, the pin tool I use almost all the time for filling in color. Um, I don't think it's a traditional way to use it, but I love using it just to use just to fill in color. It's super fast. A lot of people are always like, "Well, why don't you use the brush tool to f uh, fill in your color?" But I think it, the brush tool takes too long. It's just my opinion. But if you want to work fast, I like the pen tool for that. Um, all right, we just got one more right here. We're going to add. And I accidentally selected that layer, so let me switch this. There we go. All right, let's see. All right, there we go. So this pineapple design, if you can't tell, it's going to be melting. <laughs> I'm in Arizona, so I tend to make designs that melt, I guess. And like this last one I just did not too long ago has a cactus melting. Well, I decided to do a pineapple melting. So if you're wondering what the drips are, it's a pineapple and it's melting because it's in Arizona and it's super hot here. So we're going to get down on the these leaf part, the leaves now, the like super sharp leaves that Whenever you go to the store, grocery store, and you're like trying to pick out a pineapple, you don't want to touch because it stabs you and it hurts really, really bad. Um, so we're going to get down on this right now. And it definitely needs to be thicker, so I'm going to change that to, let's try three. That looks good. And we'll do that. Uh, it needs to be a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. All right, let's add this up here. We'll do this one. The beauty about using um, the brush tool in Illustrator is once you get really proficient proficient with it, you can move really fast. And the Wacom tablet helps as well, obviously, because it's just like a pen. Doing it with the mouse is, can be pretty difficult. Go. Let's add some right here. And then we're going to add these. And up here and down. All right, so I actually think, okay, I'm going to finish these right now. Oops. And I think some of these should be thicker. Um, because it will give this whole thing more character. So let's see what this looks like if I change it to a four point and then maybe like this one to a two, let's change this one to a four and let's change this line back to a three. Um, maybe we'll do this one to a four two. Uh, all right, so there we go. We've got that kind of drawn out. I'm going to add like some little shading, not really shading, just black lines in here to kind of give it some depth. And then I'm going to I'm going to quickly do the color and then we'll get into Q&A. And then we will have this for you guys to download in the description below for a wallpaper for your iPhone. If you want to get crazy and try to hack it and redesign it for a computer, you can do that too. Um, let's go brush tool. There we go. My computer was like, it was stuck on the hand tool, which is super annoying. Then we want to change it. Let's go to like two for in here. There we go. And almost done. Almost done. All right. So, oh, we'll add one in here. All right. So, I'm gonna get down on the color right now. First, I gotta add my little exclamation points. Another kind of like little signature thing I do in my designs a lot is I add these exclamation points. Oops, that line sucks. Let's redo these. So one little pro tip also is if you are drawing with a tablet, and sometimes it's hard for me to draw straight up. You can just draw however's comfortable in Illustrator and then just take the object 
and just rotate it. And then to get the perfect one, I just copy and paste them all. Uh, I don't try to redraw the exact same one, unless you want them to be different. Um, but why would you want that? <laughs> all right, so almost there. All right, cool. Got that. All right, now let's let's get down on the color. So I like to lock this layer so you can't mess with any of this. I'll go to the layer below. So I'll add another layer. I'm just going to add this layer. I don't know what's on that layer. And then uh, I'm going to use a pen tool to get some color in here. So we'll select a color. Let's do yellow like I colored it on the paper. It's a good yellow. And basically what I do with the pen tool is I just trace underneath and just follow the path like so. And oops, computers being a little funny. There we go. Just like this. And it's like super fast way to just add color. Um, and then for each color, I'll add a different layer. So we're gonna do, we're gonna lock this layer now. I'm gonna add another color. I'm gonna go behind it though. So let's move this behind there. Um, we're gonna do a blue color. Let's do like a light, like a light blue. Actually, a little bit darker. This color is supposed to be darker. At least if I'm sticking to how I did it on the drawing, it would be darker. All right. Same thing with this. So I just trace behind so basically when you have like a, I'm not sure if everyone that's watching is proficient in illustrator which they you probably aren't but what I'm doing is I'm on the layer underneath my outlines and if you don't know what layers are basically it's just everything stacked on top of each other and when you do something underneath a layer you're you're basically designing underneath whatever's on top. So once you kind of, some people get really confused with layers, but once you understand the concept of what you're actually doing, it's really, really super easy. All right, so now I'm gonna add another color. I'm gonna go like a little bit darker. Darker, just to add some cool contrast. I kinda wanted like the same color though. Here, let's go, or actually, Screw it, I might go lighter. Let's see what color is. Nope, we're gonna go darker. All right, like this. Yeah, let's do that. All right, here we go. So I've got a new layer below all the colors and I'm just gonna outline this. Basically, I'm doing the rest of the this pineapple right now. And then uh, after that, I'm going to do the leaves quickly. And then we'll get down to some Q and A. All right, let's do this. See, it's just so much faster when you use the pen tool to do colors. There's a lot of people that like to do uh, digital illustration in Photoshop, which is totally cool too. But I love vector art. The reason why is because vector art can... Uh, you can shrink it and you can blow it up, you can shrink it, and it doesn't matter. Like it will never lose quality. Whereas in Photoshop, you're working with pixels. And when you work with pixels, it pixelates. So, um, and vector art just looks so beautiful. All right, now we're gonna do the leaves. So I'm gonna select like a green color, something like this. And I've got these layers locked so you can't like mess anything up go behind here and let's see what happens. Let's see how it looks. Nice. Okay, it's looking super rad. I'm digging it. Da, da, da. I so almost just sang Justin Bieber, but I'm not going to because I'm horrible at singing. Um, so this is totally a hack way to color too. I don't think this is the traditional way you're supposed to actually color in Illustrator. Um, but I'm, I self taught myself a lot of what I know and it works for me. And this, I've always done it for the last like 12 years. So 
I mean, if you're just starting out, you can try it. But if you've got your own method, stick to it. Um, I just think this is a really fast way. It, all, it doesn't work in every case, coloring your uh, objects like this. All right, there we go. Boom. Oh, wait. We need to add, so let's clear that. We need to add a little tag, too. I'm going to add a little sloth tag to this. Here we go. Let's change it to black. Do a little sloth tag. Um, change the size. It actually did not change it. Let's do this. So we can just select everything and change it down and then we'll shrink it. And let's put it over here. Boom, guys, there you go. Melt pineapple. You guys dig it? Oh, what do you think? Um, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this in the, well, Sarah's probably gonna put this in the description below so you guys can down it, download it. I'll also drop a link in my Twitter. Um, if you guys are on Twitter and you wanna snag it, um, at Timmy Ham is my Twitter. So let's get down to this uh, Q&A. You guys ready to do some Q&A? Because I am. All right, I'm about to transition out of this Illustrator. I hope you guys liked the process. It was super fun doing it. Um, and thanks Wacom, or sorry, Wacom, Wacom, for this awesome tablet and sponsoring this stream for to just let me do art on Sarah Dici's channel. These peachy lives are awesome, so I'm super pumped. All right, let's get down to uh, Q&A. Boom. Okay. All right, guys, so now we're gonna be in Q&A. Let me adjust the screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, if anyone has anything of that sort, I'm just waiting for the chat to pop up because I cannot see anything right now. Bear with me. It says chat is disabled for this stream. Um, we might have technical difficulties for the Q&A part. Just waiting. Oh wait, wait. Hold on, Sarah's calling. Hello? Hey. So basically You're on speaker. Chat? Okay, awesome. The chat is from the previous live Oh stream. crap. So just go to your face and then you might have to find the chat um, on YouTube. Oh wait, sorry, say that one more time, go where? <laughs> so basically, <laughs> go back just to your face on Wirefox, okay. and then go to YouTube.com, or go on my Twitter and just click click the link to the stream, and you can see the chat on the live stream. Okay, hopefully that doesn't mess. Like the live live stream. Hopefully that doesn't like jack with the the feed. Okay, guys, hold on. Okay. We're going. Okay. I'm gonna hang up okay, bye. Call okay, bye. <laughs> All right, so technical difficulties. That chat stream was from the previous the previous live stream that failed. So, we're going to tr I'm going to try to bring up the chat right now on here, but I'm hoping it doesn't like crash the stream because I'm going to be streaming and watching at the same time. Um all right, hold on. Let's bring it. Let's bring it up. Uh, trying to find the what the. Um. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right, hold on, guys. Let me minimize this for you. All right. I'm gonna have to make this bigger and move my face so you guys can see. Sorry for this technical difficulties. This is super, super noob at this. 
Okay. All right, guys. Who has who has Q and A? Jeff, what's up? What is your favorite personal piece of art? Uh, my favorite personal piece of art. Um, let's see. My favorite. I I don't know if I have a favorite personal piece of art, but I do have a favorite. One of my favorite artists is a guy named Mad Steez. Um. Oh wait, hold on. Sarah says, "Pop out the chat." Top right. Bear with me. Pop out chat. Oh. There we go. All right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Wait. No. Oh my gosh. This is getting crazy. Um, can I do this? All right. Screw it. You guys are just going to see double me, I guess. Um, all right. So what up? Awesome diamond pineapple on pizza. No pineapple cannot be on pizza. I am so sorry guys. Pineapple. I'm like pepperoni. Do pepperoni. I'm good. Um, back to answer Jeff's question. Jeff, I don't have a favorite piece of art, but one of my favorite artists is this guy named Mad Steez, M-A-D-S-T-E-E-Z. He is amazing. Um, he's super good. Yeah, I I was trying to put the chat into a new window, but it's just not, it's not working. Robert, what is your graffiti tag, Tim? No, my graffiti tag is sloth. Um, that's... That's like my, that was my street tag. That was my, everything I graffitied was sloth. Um, what? No pineapple. Uh, let's ant dab. Boom. Got it. What do you do when you're lacking your creative juices? All right. So like probably one of the best things I can do when I am. Okay. One second. Sarah just texted me a good idea. All right, there we go. So now you guys won't see the chat questions. Um, one thing, someone just asked what I do to clear my head if I am just don't have any creative juices like flowing. One thing that I do is whatever I'm doing, I just step away from it completely. So I, if I'm in my like little creative cave, I just like, I'm out. I go walk around, I go skateboard. I just try to do something completely opposite for at least 20 minutes, 30 minutes, sometimes an hour, and then I'll come back with a fresh mind, and usually that helps. Another thing that helps is just disconnecting from the phone, so wherever I go, I'm disconnected from everything. I'm just doing something completely different. That usually helps me. Um, <laughs> everyone wants me to dab. How did you and Ben Brown come up with the logo? It is awesome, by the way. Just got one of the t-shirts off your site. Dude, thank you. Um, ben Brown, and I came up with the logo. Um, basically, if you know Bryn Brown, he has the swallow. He just had the swallow, and he's like, yo, can you make the swallow your own? So I just took it and just basically made it my own, just put my style into it. A lot of the times I'll do art. I'll actually doodle or draw inside of things. And uh, so that was kind of my go-to with that. <laughs> what do I think about vaping? Oh, my gosh. Well, if you're Craig... Vape Nation. No, I'm just joking. Um, vaping, I mean, really? Why? <laughs> That's all I have to say is really? I know my headphones. I I tangled them. I tangled my headphones on purpose so you guys could hear me better. Because if not, it's like so low. Um, all right. What got you into graphic designing? Um so basically what got me into graphic design is, hold on, sorry, I'm getting, wait, it's just my face, right? Okay, cool. Um, what got me into graphic design is I used to just paint on shoes. I was painting, I don't have any 
like on me right now, but when I started out like 10 years ago, I was painting on shoes and I got like this deal from Vans. Vans connected me because they saw me on MySpace and I did this retail thing and it went super good and big and then it like it clicked to me like I can make money doing art and then I just dove in and uh, I love computers and I'm like, I'm gonna learn graph design. I just got into that too. Um, so that's kind of how it evolved and just started. Am I ever going to stop making art? I don't think so. I just love creating. Honestly, I like creating art. I like creating businesses. I like creating content. Just I love creating. Um, art is just the easiest way for me to use that gift, I guess. All right, I'm going to scroll. I'm looking. I should get the Apple Air AirPods. Maybe Sarah will just give me hers because I, I don't have them. <laughs> I need them though. And what's really funny about the Apple AirPods is I feel like it's, does anyone remember Bluetooth, like the Bluetooth, the one thing? It's like the cooler version of Bluetooth because I used to think Bluetooth were lame and then the Apple AirPods came out and I'm like, I actually think that's sick. <laughs> All right, who's got some more questions? Where do you get your inspiration from? Lula, I'm horrible at pronouncing names, so I'm very sorry. Someone asked, where do I get my inspiration from? I get my inspiration mostly from other industries, a lot of a lot from the music industry. I love street streetwear. I love like hip hop. Um, I love action sports industry. So skateboarding, motocross, those kind of sports. I pull a lot of inspiration from that. I like to look at what other industries are doing and see how I can translate that into my stuff. And that kind of inspires me on how I can like incorporate things that I like from other places into my art. Um, Tim, do you know if you say pineapple three times fast, it sounds like gullible? Pineapple, pineapple, pi uh, sort of, sort of that. Um, do you know how to use Photoshop? Yes, I do know how to use Photoshop. Sam Crooks, what up? That's your shout out. What's MySpace? MySpace was like literally one of, was before Facebook. MySpace was the social network pre, um, pre everything. It was like the social network and then Facebook killed it. Why cactuses? Cactuses, uh, I'm from Arizona. We have a million saguaro cactuses. Uh, let's see, how did you come up with a one-eyed monster? I don't, I don't really know how I came up with it. I literally, it just like came out of my head. It like vomited out of my like brain and I just drew it down. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is green. Jeff, with another question. Oh wait, over here, green. Green's my favorite color and red. Um, yes, my space was crazy. Did you skateboard? I did skateboard actually, and I broke three bones skateboarding before. Skating bowls and swimming pools was not fun. Um, all right, let's see. Okay, does any MySpace top friends was like legit? They need to bring that back on like Twitter so you can have like your top friends. Dude, how old are you? You got okay. Let's take a guess. How old do you guys think I am? Can we can we just get a guess and then we'll answer a couple more questions and then we're gonna cut it off. Um, how old do you think I am? I'm gonna answer another question too. All right. So someone just asked, do I recommend college? I recommend college if you know what you want to do. I don't recommend college if you don't know what you're gonna do and you're about to take out a grip of money that you're going to have to pay off. So um, just if you're going to go to college, really try to know what you're going to do. Someone asked, how did Sarah and I meet? Sarah and I met in Nashville. Uh, I connected with Sarah via Twitter. I was like, yo, we need to collaborate. Sarah's like, come to Nashville. I'm like, all right, cool. And then she was like, I have this chair to paint. So I got down on this awesome chair that she has in her apartment now and just spray painted it all crazy, graffiti it. There's actually a video on YouTube. If you tweet me, I will uh, send you the link. And it came out super cool, and that's how we met. And now we've just been going back and forth doing all these different things. It's been super rad. Okay, all these, holy cow. I did go to high school. Random fact, I went to high school, and I played Division One football in college. 
Um, and I am not in college debt. I didn't. I don't have any college debt. Twenty nine. Okay, thirty. Just so you guys know, I'm three o three o. Screens backwards. I'm thirty. Um, do you put? Sounds like Casey's answer. Well, great minds think alike. That's all I have to say. <laughs> yes, you still have the custom vans, dude. Pumped. I do have my own channel. Search Timmy Ham. Do you ever have you ever designed a Snapchat geo filter? Actually, the design that I did with Ben ba Ben Brown, we used as a Snapchat filter in his pop up store. It was super sick. What's my favorite food? Harry asked. What's my favorite food? My favorite food is probably gonna have to be tacos. I'm half Mexican. I love tacos. So tacos are prime probably my top favorite food. What's my favorite music? Favorite music is usually what's ever in my Discover Weekly on Spotify. <laughs> um, how do you share your art slash creativity with kids? With my kids, um, we do a lot of painting together. Sometimes I'll draw something and have them color it and we just kind of collaborate on art. It's super fun. What is... What is your biggest fear and what makes you the happiest? Um, biggest fear, I don't really, I'm not really afraid of much. I guess I would say biggest fear is losing loved ones, like death of close people into you would suck. And um, what makes me happiest is being a good human and just being able to do what I love every single day. That makes me really happy. And then providing for my family and while doing what I love is literally one of the best feelings in the whole entire world. Uh, what is one thing you share with Sarah? We're both on YouTube. We're both creators. John who? I have a legit, what is it like kissing a girl? I don't know, John. John, you tell me. I, I saw you and Sarah. I saw you guys in Wyoming. <laughs> oh my gosh, John, you're awesome. Is there a place I really want to visit? Um, I want to go to Bora Bora. And I want to go to New Zealand, which I actually think I'm going to New Zealand this year, so that'll be sick. <laughs> what did I chat with Gary V about? Noah asked. Um, to be honest, nothing really. I just wanted to meet him, say what's up, and showed him some of my art. He took over my Instagram for a couple minutes. It was literally like a five, ten minute talk at most. It really was not like anything crazy. Yeah, right. Sarah and John right now are like, Sarah and John right now are kissing via digital. Like they're sending digital kisses to each other. I know it. <laughs> are you Canadian? No, I'm not Canadian. I am American. My mom's family is from Mexico, so I'm half Mexican. Um, have I kissed a girl? Have I? Yes, I've been married for seven years. I've made three babies and done some kissing in that time period. <laughs> um, <laughs> have I ever been to Guatemala? No, I have not been to Guatemala, but one of my friends from college was on the golf team and she was from Guatemala, so does that count? Digital lips. Sarah and John love the digital lips. Oh my gosh. Um, which art did you get first paid? The first paid gig, the first paid art gig job that I had was with Vans. They saw some of the shoes that I did and then, <laughs> the stream is getting art rate. They saw some of the shoes I did and they were like, yo, can you paint some of these for this competition that we're doing called um, it was a high school competition around designing custom vans and then kids got their own shoe. So they basically took my design and put it in all the retail stores in the US and they like hung the design and they used it as examples and on the website and a bunch of stuff. So that was my first actual like paid gig and that was that was like nine years ago. So it's been a while. All right guys, two more quick questions and then I'm out. Um what what school did I play football for? University of Nevada, Reno. I played with Colin Kaepernick. If you guys know him, I played a running back. All right, one more question. One more question. All right, how did you propose to your wife? You, you guys want to know how? I, this is the last question, and I'm going to answer, and then we're going to get off. Um, the, la, the 
the way that I proposed to my wife is pretty crazy. Uh, I proposed to her in top of an airplane before we skydived down into Hawaii. And then we got to the bottom, I gave her the ring. It was crazy. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much to everybody that was on this live stream, hanging in with us through these technical difficulties. I'm sorry, I'm a newbie, and I just want to say thank you so much to Peachy Live. Sarah, thank you so much for letting me take over this stream. It's been super fun. Huge shout out to Wacom for sponsoring this stream. You rock. Thank you for making amazing products. Guys, if you want to follow me, see more of me, you can check me out on Twitter, at Timmy Ham, Instagram, I am Sloth and YouTube to me ham that those will all be in the description below so you guys can check that out don't forget to download the wallpaper that we made tonight and uh, one last thing guys do not forget to subscribe subscribe there's gonna be all sorts of amazing streams going on this week next week and just forever in the future so make sure you guys subscribe and get connected there's gonna be a lot of like a lot of you guys are creators you need to subscribe this is gonna be epic what Sarah's doing, and so I'm pumped, guys. And I kind of forget how um, Sarah signs off. She goes, uh, wait, what did she say? Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. Thank you for having me.